the biggest uh, question is whether the reflection of sunlight is coming from a solid surface, in which case, as you pointed out, or maybe a dense cloud of dust. A mysterious object from another star system, 3I Atlas, is baffling scientists. It looks like a comet. It moves like a comet, but it's missing one crucial element that has sent shockwaves through the astronomical community. Very first object that we have found coming to us from interstellar space, from other places. Now, famed Harvard scientist Avi Loeb has put his reputation on the line, claiming this anomaly is not natural. He suggests we are witnessing an alien-built megastructure, a theory that changes everything we thought we knew about our place in the universe. The object that broke the rules. Many people are crazy about the idea of finding alien life, but the discovery of these objects is a relatively new thing. The first one, a strange cigar-shaped object named Oumuamua, zipped past us in 2017, leaving a trail of unanswered questions in its wake. Then came the comet Borisov in 2019, which looked and acted more like the comets from our own solar system. And then there was the third one, 3I Atlas. The 3I in its name literally means it's the third interstellar object ever confirmed. It was first spotted by the asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, which is where it gets the name Atlas. This system is our planet's early warning system, constantly scanning the sky for any rocks on a collision course with Earth. At first, Atlas looked like a faint, unremarkable smudge of light. Astronomers classified it as a comet, a big ball of ice and rock. Based on its path through space, they knew it wasn't from around here. Its trajectory was a hyperbola, a wide open curve that showed it was moving way too fast to be trapped by our sun's gravity. It was on a one-way trip, a tourist just passing through. To put it mildly, it was an exciting find, but it didn't seem like a world-changing one. Scientists around the globe turned their telescopes toward it, hoping to learn more about the chemical makeup of its far-off home. They used powerful observatories, including the legendary Hubble Space Telescope, to get a closer look. What they saw was, at first, pretty standard. As Atlas got closer to our sun, it started to brighten, just like a normal comet. The sun's heat was causing the ice on its surface to turn directly into gas. This process creates a glowing cloud of gas and dust around the comet's solid core, or nucleus. This cloud is called a coma, and it's what makes comets look so beautiful and ghostly in the night sky. The most shocking fact is the sheer scale of this. The coma of a comet can sometimes grow to be larger than the sun itself, even though the rocky core is only a few miles wide. For Atlas, everything seemed to be going by the book. But then, as scientists watched it, something completely unexpected happened. Atlas began to break apart. In early 2020, the Hubble telescope captured stunning, crystal-clear images of the object shattering into dozens of smaller pieces. This isn't totally unheard of for comets. The sun's gravity can put a huge strain on them, and the explosive outgassing can sometimes tear them to pieces. But the way Atlas disintegrated was just the first clue that something was deeply weird about this visitor. It wasn't just a simple breakup, it was a cascade of self-destruction that left astronomers scratching their heads. What many overlooked in the initial excitement was a much deeper, more fundamental mystery. It was a detail so strange that it would lead one of the world's most famous and controversial astronomers, Avi Loeb, to sound an alarm. He looked at the data from Atlas, at how it moved and what it was doing, and came to a conclusion that most scientists would be too afraid to even whisper. The data didn't point to a simple piece of rock and ice. To him, it pointed to something far more profound, something that might not be natural at all. The object's strange behavior defied the known laws of physics. The missing push. To understand the bombshell that Avi Loeb would later drop, we have to talk about a little secret of our solar system. The planets, asteroids, and comets don't just move according to gravity. You see, there's another force at play, especially for comets. As a comet gets closer to the sun, the ice on its surface heats up and erupts into space as jets of gas and dust. This is what creates the beautiful tail that we see. But not all things are what they seem. This isn't just for show. These jets of gas act like tiny rocket engines. They give the comet a gentle but constant push that is separate from the pull of the sun's gravity. This is called non-gravitational acceleration. It's a tiny effect, but we can measure it with incredible precision. In fact, this outgassing is a defining feature of a comet. Every single active comet ever observed in our solar system that has been studied up close has shown this effect. 
It's a fundamental law of how these icy bodies behave when they get a little sunshine. The thing nobody tells you is that this outgassing is also what causes comets to change their brightness so dramatically. The more gas and dust being released, the more sunlight the coma reflects and the brighter the comet appears from Earth. This is where the story of Atlas gets truly bizarre. When astronomers looked at the data from the Hubble Space Telescope, they saw the clear evidence of a coma and a tail. They even saw it break apart, an event often caused by intense outgassing. Everything screamed active comet. But when they calculated its trajectory, the math didn't add up. The most shocking fact is that 3i Atlas had no non-gravitational acceleration. Zero. It was moving as if it were just a dead rock, pushed and pulled only by the gravity of the sun. This was a massive contradiction, a scientific paradox. How could an object be releasing enough gas to create a visible tail and break itself apart, but not enough to give it even the slightest nudge off its gravitational path? To put it mildly, this was a huge red flag for the scientific community. They tried to come up with explanations. Perhaps the outgassing was happening in a perfectly symmetrical way from all sides of the object, so all the little pushes canceled each other out. This is possible, but it's incredibly unlikely. Another idea was that maybe the object wasn't made of water ice, but something else. Something that created a tail without producing a strong push. But the data from the telescopes didn't support that. The chemical signature looked a lot like a normal comet. What many overlooked was that the simplest explanation was also the most troubling, that our assumptions about what we were looking at were completely wrong. The scientific paper that analyzed this concluded that Atlas had to be anomalously massive. In other words, for it to be creating a tail but not moving, it had to be incredibly dense, much denser than any comet we've ever seen. This is where Avi Loeb, a professor from Harvard University, stepped in. Loeb is not your typical cautious astronomer. He's famous for looking at data that doesn't fit and asking the one question most scientists avoid, what if it's aliens? He did this with Oumuamua, suggesting its strange shape and movement could be explained if it were a thin, light sail-like object. Many in the scientific community dismissed him as a sensationalist. But Loeb argues that we should take the possibility of alien technology seriously, especially when an object breaks the known laws of physics. When he saw the data on Atlas, he saw the same kinds of red flags he saw with Oumuamua. The complete lack of a rocket-like push, combined with the fact that it was clearly active, pointed to something that was just not natural. This wasn't just a weird rock, it was something else entirely. Loeb proposed a truly mind-bending theory, the alien megastructure. Avi Loeb looked at the paradox of 3i Atlas and saw a glaring signpost pointing away from nature and towards intelligence. You see, when all the natural explanations for something seem incredibly unlikely, you have to start considering the unnatural ones. Loeb argues that the scientific community is often too conservative, too afraid of ridicule, to seriously consider the possibility of extraterrestrial technology. His whole career has become about challenging that mindset. He founded the Galileo Project, an organization specifically dedicated to searching for physical evidence of alien tech, or techno-signatures, right here in our solar system. When Loeb analyzed the data on Atlas, his conclusion was both simple and earth-shattering. The object couldn't be a comet because it didn't have the rocket effect. It couldn't be a typical asteroid because it had a tail and broke apart. Therefore, it had to be something else entirely. He revived the theory he first proposed for Oumuamua that what we are seeing is not a naturally formed object, but a piece of advanced alien technology. Specifically, he suggests it could be a very thin-walled object, like a hollow shell or a piece of a much larger alien-built megastructure. The thing nobody tells you is how this elegantly solves the paradox. If Atlas were a very thin, hollow object, like a crumpled piece of aluminum foil the size of a city block, it would have a huge surface area but very little mass. This means that even a tiny amount of sublimation from a thin layer of surface frost or ice could release enough dust and gas to create a visible tail. However, because the object itself is so lightweight like a cosmic leaf, the push from that outgassing would be negligible and almost impossible to detect. The object would be carried along by the sun's gravity like a dead leaf in the wind. This megastructure idea is truly a wow factor. What could it be? Loeb doesn't claim to know for sure, but the possibilities are incredible. It could be a piece of a Dyson sphere a hypothetical megastructure that an advanced civilization would build around its star to capture all of its energy. 
Or it could be a defunct solar sail, a huge, thin sheet used to propel a spacecraft using the pressure of starlight. It might even be a piece of cosmic junk the discarded hull of an ancient interstellar spaceship that has been tumbling through the void for eons. To put it mildly, these are extraordinary claims. But Loeb argues that they fit the data better than the natural explanations. The idea of a perfectly symmetrical comet that cancels out its own thrust is to him more far-fetched than the idea that another civilization built something. Many people are crazy about finding patterns, and Loeb points to a very suspicious one. We have now seen two interstellar objects, Oumuamua and Atlas, that have behaved in ways that defy our neat categories. Oumuamua was pushed without a tail, and Atlas had a tail without a push. Both, in his view, point towards artificial objects with strange properties. The most shocking fact is that these objects are not rare. Based on the rate of discovery, Loeb and his colleagues calculate that there could be quadrillions of these interstellar objects, that's a one with 15 zeros after it. If even a tiny fraction of them are artificial, then our galaxy could be absolutely littered with alien artifacts like ancient shipping lanes filled with the silent drifting wreckage of forgotten voyages. This theory reframes the entire search for extraterrestrial intelligence. We've been listening for radio signals, but maybe we should have been looking for visitors. The evidence, Loeb suggests, might not come as a message, but as a piece of hardware. And if that's the case, we are totally unprepared for what comes next. What many overlooked is that these objects are not just academic curiosities. They are physical proof that other technological civilizations might exist or at least that they existed once, and that single fact changes everything. But what do other scientists think of this incredible and terrifying idea? As you might expect, Avi Loeb's theory that 3i Atlas is a piece of an alien megastructure has been met with a huge amount of skepticism from the mainstream scientific community. You see, the default position in science is always to look for a natural explanation before jumping to an extraordinary one. The idea of alien technology is, for most scientists, the absolute last resort, a theory to be considered only when every single other possibility has been exhausted. And for many astronomers, we are nowhere near that point with Atlas. The main counter-argument is that we just don't know enough about interstellar objects to say what's normal. We've only had a good look at three of them. The variety of objects formed in other solar systems could be far greater than we ever imagined. What seems unnatural to us might be perfectly normal for a comet born around a different type of star. The thing nobody tells you is that our own solar system might be the weird one and that most comets in the galaxy might be just like Atlas. Is Avi Loeb a visionary genius pushing science forward, or is he seeing aliens where there are only strange rocks? Let us know what you think, and be sure to like and subscribe.